track reviews. Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. Let's talk about some new Playboy Cardi. The man, the myth, the rage legend. As everyone knows, he has a brand new LP coming out just around the corner. He is being a bit mysterious about its drop per usual, but we know it's close because he's putting out a lot of singles. Ever since his massive whole lot of red run, Cardi just dominates the holidays and the new year transition when he has an album cycle. This one in particular, he is really teasing out this time with a fourth track. Now we did a review of the first one on the channel, and I just don't want to simply talk about the latest. I figured I could rewind a little bit and uh, talk about the three latest songs all at once in a bit of a gauntlet. Let's start with the track 2024, which I think is my favorite of the bunch. Vocally kicks things off with a pretty standard Cardi register and flow. It's light, it's bright, it's vibey. You have a thumping trap beat that's pretty crisp, uh, not nearly as distorted or as harsh as some of the stuff off of Cardi's last record. And you have this sweet, hooky, mushy, little difficult to define loop laced throughout the beat of what sounds like uh, just a repetition of uh, a vocal and a keyboard line. It's a little washed out, so it's difficult to say what exactly it is or how many pieces it's made of. All I know is with the beat, it makes for a pretty hypnotic combination. Cardi he then switches his vocal register in the second half of the track to sound a bit deeper, more raspy. <laughs> We're talking about going from <laughs> to a <laughs> more of like an old creaky door vibe. It's at this point one of the more uh, weird and eyebrow raising lines pop out on the entire track where he's saying that uh, he can't be canceled because uh, you're feeling some type of way, which uh, one of the only and the latest times that I could think of of Cardi being canceled was when uh, he's been accused of putting hands on that pregnant woman, which uh, if those accusations are true, I, I, I think she would uh, be well within her right to feel some type of way. The repetitious put him on the news refrain is uh, not too bad. It's a very simple, very repetitive track that uh, is kind of like a less is more moment. Not a whole lot to go over other than that, but uh, Playboy Cardi's songs aren't exactly, uh, I don't know, inviting a whole lot of uh, super deep analysis of their uh, subtleties and nuances because they're often not there. Because again, as I said, uh, his approach is very simple very minimal at points, very stripped back, not trying to do too much, which I can get into if maybe uh, what we're talking about is a track that is uh, explosive or is trying to uh, uh, cut out some of those finer details uh, for the sake of something that is more in your face or exciting. However, for Cardi and a lot of artists that follow in his footsteps, uh, the point is more to be a little underwhelming and intoxicating, which whether or not that sort of thing connects for me, it depends. It's not really happening happening on the next track, Hood by Air. In terms of ethos, this one is just mindless debauchery. From the sinister keys in the beat to the repetitions of, uh, uh, get out like this, get out like me. He's digging deeper into that lower register flow too. And I don't know, while I think it was passable on, uh, 2024. On this one, he kind of sounds like a Muppet. Plus, the flow on this one isn't nearly as good or engaged or sharp. At one point, it just kind of trails off and Cardi kind of ceases to fill the space that is left before him in the instrumental. That is until uh, the bass and beat switch up around the bridge where he seems to come to life a little bit again. And while I'm not as into this track musically, I feel like there is a lot to say about its energy, its ethos. For sure it is dark and it is cold hearted profoundly. Uh, if there's another word I could throw in here, it's as unconcerned as possible. Maybe in a way it's a reflection of a world where you have a lot of young people that don't have a ton to hope for. I feel like we've been here before with uh, some of the darker realms of heavy and hair metal as well as just goth culture. Which brings me to the latest track, Backrooms, featuring Travis Scott. The video on this track is what really grabbed my attention because it really speaks to this kind of unfiltered, low-budget internet rawness that you either get or you don't. You can either perform it or you can't, which I think is evidenced by Travis Scott in the music video, who looks zonked out of his mind, 
awkward, out of place. Meanwhile, Playboy Cardi like just looks great in this context. He is just thriving. He is swimming like an eel in the saltiest, darkest waters imaginable. This is the world of his making. But with that being said, this also again is nothing all that new or cutting edge, certainly not as cutting edge as it was 10 years ago when Death Grips was doing it. At least then it was attached to music that was legitimately harsh, challenging, and subversive for its time. Conversely, what Cardi is doing on this track uh, just feels so much more low impact and low energy, way more in vogue than it is going against the grain of anything, honestly. I mean, as far as the surface level aesthetics of this track go, I do like the lightly atmospheric and uh, industrial production, but it's not a super varied or detailed song. In fact, I would say maybe the most basic and repetitive of uh, the bunch of uh, these four tracks so far. And as a result of that, it just gets stale kind of fast. It's not like Travis had a particularly strong performance on the song either. Even though I think honestly, he should be fighting for his life on this track because not only did Travis's sound and his wave inspire this dude, uh, but Playboy Cardi is so slowly but surely replacing him as far as his dominance over the demographic that uh, Travis Scott has led for so long. So there you go. My thoughts on these three new tracks. What are yours? Let me know. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the links to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Anthony Fantano, Playboy Cardi, uh, forever.